Hi, I'm Lauren from Lemon Sky Digital Backgrounds. In this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to composite a newborn baby and a flat JPEG uh, digital background in Photoshop and combine them together. I'm going to be using this newborn image and this digital background here. Digital background is available on the Lemon Sky Digital's website at digital-backgrounds.com. Uh, you can also get a version of this if you sign up to the Enchanted Picks membership via LSP Actions. I'm going to show you some great hand editing tips when it comes to matching your digital with the newborn image, um, how to use layers in Photoshop, masking, brushing, subject selection and more. I'm using Photoshop Creative Cloud, so let's dive in. So baby's already edited, this is a finished image. So what I'm going to do, instead of um, placing, which I would normally recommend, I'm being lazy because I have the image open anyway. So I'm just going to copy and paste this on. Uh, the lighting in both of these is coming from the right, so I don't need to do anything there. So what I'm going to do is bring the opacity down on the baby layer, and I'm just going to move baby into position so they're sitting as nicely as possible in this bucket. Just moving them in. And now we can bring the opacity back up. The next thing I'm going to do is use Photos um, Subject Selection. This sometimes can give a bit of a funky selection like see now it's kind of selected the outside of the bucket so I'm going to grab a selection tool hold down alt and just get rid of any of these areas that at the moment I don't want it to select I'm going to use the um, the other selection tool here name's gone out of my head object selection tool there we go just holding down alt I'm just going to take that area away so I'm just trying to make the selection as good as possible um, to get started with and I'm going to hit a layer mask on that one. So you can see baby's already kind of popped in there. But if we zoom in, you can see the selection's not great. So what I'm going to do is come up to select and mask. On the refine tool, I'm just going to come around any fluffy areas, the same as if you have hair or anything like that. This can just help refine your selection a little bit. And let's just use that again on the layer mask. You can see we've got a much nicer selection here, much more realistic. And now on the mask with the white brush, I'm just going to paint any areas in that object selection kind of missed. And you can see here, this is a shallow depth of field. The depth of field matches the digital perfectly. So what I'm going to do is grab blur tool. Set to 100% and I'm just going to, I'm on the mask here, so I'm just blurring, I'm not blurring the actual image. I'm softening up this selection a little bit. So you have to run that over quite a few times. But I find um, sometimes the blur tool is a little bit better for that. And what we want next is we want, this is something I did, I've just remembered, is I took this section of the fabric here. I'm just going to copy and paste that into a new layer. Opacity down. Control or Command T and warp, and I'm just going to fit this um, the bucket that the baby was originally in. I'm just going to fit this layer here, just to the outside a little bit, just so it's kind of coming over. Also, quite mindful of baby's skin there as well. A little something like that. And bring that up. It's going to look a bit weird, but what I'm going to do is mask that and use a white brush to kind of paint that in. And that's bringing some of the original kind of fabric in back into play over on this side. You can see I'm just painting that in and I'm going to refine that in just a minute. You change your brush hardness depending on the areas that you're trying to kind of blend. You can do that really easily by right clicking. Obviously, there's a little area of elbow there I'm going to need to fix, but that's okay. It's worth it for a really good composite. And having these other kind of selection tools in your arsenal and using um, a digital that is already um, kind of matching really nicely means that it's a lot easier to edit. So you can spend a little bit of time on this, um, you know, fiddly kind of stuff. I find um, no two digitals look the same, so this one's not going to look quite the same as the one I edited yesterday, but that's okay. Uh, 
And what I'm going to do with this super quickly is I'm just going to grab this um, clone stamp and I'm just going to clone this bit of skin out of the way there. No, still not quite, but that's okay. Obviously this is a real time edit, nothing fancy going on here. And I'm just patching, but I'm going to maybe tidy this area up in a minute with a little bit of paint. You can see there we have now that original kind of bit of blanket in there as well. And now it's time to tidy up this. So I'm just grabbing a brush on the layer mask. Brush is set to black. I'm just going to bring down to a medium flow. And I'm just going to come up in here. Just tidying up the edge manually. <laughs> if you can hear that sighing noise, it's not me sighing, it's actually my dog. She's laying right here on the floor. She's a big, um, scruffy golden doodle. He's actually black, black coated. And um, she's had a very busy day playing with her ball. She's absolutely ball obsessed. And she loves to sit in here, make funky smells right by my feet and sighs regularly. So I'm just popping the arm in, being quite mindful of the depth of field of the digital. So you see there, now we've popped baby in. Now it's time to just refine a little bit with some shadows and some painting. The first thing I want to do is actually darken down the background of the digital a little bit. So I've clicked under baby, I'm adding a levels layer and I'm just going to darken down the touch. Can you see that? Just messing around with the levels. I'm looking here and here. So we can blend a little bit more with the natural kind of shadows. Control or Command I to invert. I'm grabbing a brush set to white. I'm just painting these in. Another cool thing you can do: Control or Command Shift and N to make a new layer. I'm going to set this to color and grab the brush I'm just going to sample from my image and I'm just blending the tones in a little bit here can you see just blending some of these tones together so that the digital is matching the tones in our image and vice versa you see so before and after see it was kind of a um, a whitey tone and now I've turned it to this same kind of um, pinkish brown I want to add some shadows under the blanket, so I'm going to add another levels layer and bring it down. I'm looking underneath here now. I want to add some dark shadows in. Control or Command I. Setting my brush. And we just want to paint some shading in there. I'm just going to refine those levels even more. Sometimes with shadows you can overdo it a little bit, so do turn them on or off um, after you've popped some in, just to make sure you're happy with where those shadows are. I'm also going to do my squash brush trick, where I squash the brush down, and angle that in, because I think naturally there would be a little bit of shading under baby's hand. The shadows are looking quite blue, so back on the levels I'm going to come down to the reds, and I'm just going to move these shadows a little bit into the pinky tones. Just so everything is matching nicely. So here's where we started. Here's where we've got so far. I'm going to add a levels layer right at the top. And I'm just going to bring the lights up just a little. Control Command I to invert. And I'm just going to paint this a little bit onto baby's face. Just so we've got some of that natural kind of light hitting there and the last thing I'm going to do is just tidy up the edges blanket if I come in nice and close you should be able to see this is not the nicest cut out going on here so I'm going to grab a brush in fact actually what I'll do I'm going to con control or command click on the layer mask and with the selection I'm just going to modify it and contract it in maybe six points you see that's come away and now I'm going to control or command I to invert that selection. 
I'm just going to use the black brush here just to kind of um, bring that selection in a little bit. And what that's done, it's just made a cleaner selection for me because it's exactly the same. I've just brought it in just a touch. And with the blur tool, I'm just going to blur that in just so everything is starting to match really nicely. And there we go. And the last thing I did with this digital, I think, is I bought in the Boho Pampas Grass. And that is in the uh, the white neutral pack. So I bought in a little bit of boho grass. And, oop, no, not double clicking. And I just drag and drop this over the top. Like this. And add a little bit of blur to that because we want that in the foreground. And the same with the other side. I'm just going to drag and drop some pampas grass over. And that's just going to frame baby in there a little bit more, give a little bit more interest to the foreground and some more real elements to obviously an AI image. So just blur that in. Going to add a little bit of curves. Uh, I didn't do this in the original, but I just want to darken those edges down so control or command I. All of this complete manual hand editing. Um, you can use the LSP uh, newborn actions. You can also use the digital background applicator actions to make this all really really simple especially if you're using a digital and a uh, image that don't maybe don't quite blend or you're not used to working with digitals so i hope you found that tutorial helpful the tips i've shown you today will apply to so many different digital backgrounds and editing techniques in photoshop and you can browse the digital backgrounds and tutorials at www.digital-backgrounds.com i'm lauren thanks for watching